people. It's your boy Berts again up in the kitchen. You don't know me, I'm kitchen up running up. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so welcome again. Thanks for passing through. Thanks for making it Berts and B. Just want you all to just like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what I'm going on the video. What I don't like, what I don't like, you know. Because without your comment, me just go continue to do the video. Then me do something wrong, me go continue to do it wrong, you know. Yeah, so. Today I have a very special video for y'all. Really unexpected. Something nice, something fun. You know the thing come down. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. I don't know why. Back again. Yeah, sometimes I may have a surprise for you know. So today, so it's a bomb with mama went shopping. So we went shopping. So you know, certain seafood or caribbean sea food so you know it's very unlikely to see them when you're in the states so today we did in our store so I see this nice big fish which we're gonna show you know, somewhere it's a queer you know i could have believed we didn't have to go you know show on the head that's piece of head Yo, yo, you want all the love, daddy? <laughs> yo, let me see. We could, we could have left it. Mm -mm. Could have left it. Big, you know, long boss. So, let me see. Now, water, mother, free like. So, I already got it cut up from there because you know, as you can see, limited space supply. So, we only gonna do our video, season it up, um, which gonna be a very simple and fast because it's already cut up. Just gonna wash him with vinegar. Well, me like use lime, but for who don't have lime can use vinegar. Who don't have vinegar can use lime as well. I think I might just use both of them today. So, just gonna do a season up video. Show you my different blends of seasoning that I put together to do it. It's not like a yard where you could get your easy spice, you know. You can get your Maggi all purpose, but you have to search different, different, different stores to find it. So, I don't have time for that. So, I'm going to put my different blend, which I tried already on meat. I tried it on poultry. tried it on seafood. And it worked out. Yeah. Just not going to use no oregano. Because I normally use it when I'm doing the fried chicken. So, I'm not going to use none now. So, just go straight into it. But, I'm going to energize myself. Electrolyte. That's the closest you get to coconut. Coconut water. This right here it's really nice all right let's get to it so today we'll be using some garlic salt meat tenderizer this one is a bit of salty but it's nice i try it's nice now use some paprika cayenne pepper this is a really healthy pepper really healthy some garlic powder and it's chicken flavor maggi but it's a different type it's not the one you're gonna see well i'm not sure if this is in jamaica i never used to look for this I used to look for the all purpose the chicken the fish but new to me but it tastes good when i mix it all together all right so just gonna pop the tip off of this one because you know when they throw out just a little dash of it you want to just make your batch of seasoning and done with it pull off the top put a little here you can already smell it from you know this is the the, the onion salt um meat tenderizer as i say you can use your different blender seasoning but i'm just showing you mine all right boy night boy the only thing I have missing from here is only because I didn't remember to pick up some is black pepper. Black pepper really nice when you're doing fish. Adds a nice little flavor to it. You know what I mean. Um, paprika. I really like this, but it, it gives it a color, so you don't want to use too much. All right? Cayenne pepper, which is a healthy pepper, so and this is the organic cayenne pepper. Really nice. 
put a little of that. This adds a little bit of spiciness as well as flavor. Hold on. I ain't going to tell you no foolishness. I understand. Some garlic powder. Garlic good for everything. But because we're doing the season, which we have some blended um, marination, but I'm not going to use no marination today. I already show you all in a video how to make my marination. You can try making your own. You could add your different seasoning. You don't have to use everything that I use, but to let me use it, you're gonna be proud of your marination. Oh, this pop off now. All right, all right. So, this kind of look like it's first time me using this. Well, first time to do fish, use it on meat already, but first time I'm using it on fish because it's a chicken flavored one. but it's fine, you could use it, it's all seasoning, right? It's not like they blend up chicken and put it in here. Yeah, this kind of looks nice. So. A good amount of this one. So as I say, the only thing missing what I would like to use would be the black pepper, but you ain't gonna have all that you want every day, right? So it all right so i'm gonna mix it up need a spoon for that mix up my nice little season put my knife into the side yeah mm -hmm. ensure it's properly mixed right you know properly mixed so you can even coating you can see even color so if it's gonna be orange, you don't see a little bit too much orange one side or you want it evenly mixed up. So if it's gonna be a red color, you wanna see all of it looking red. If it's yellow, same thing. All right, so this is what I mean when I say even. See, all looking the same, it look like, it look like cornmeal. <laughs> well, this looks like cornmeal right there. All right. That's it for seasoning. I'm using this vinegar today. But vinegar should be vinegar. Once it's white vinegar, it should be just vinegar. Alright. See my friend here now. Maracota. Nice and hey, listen, you see them fish are people people fight for them fish when they're gonna see when they are seaside of Jamaica. People fight when them see them fish here coming. Nice. So right now I'm just gonna first I'm gonna rinse it off first in cold water. Then I'm gonna use the lime juice and then rinse that off also. And then I'm gonna wash it a bit in vinegar. Not too much vinegar. We already have lime, so you're not gonna have like much rawness left on it. And that's the only reason you're washing it in lime or vinegar is to get the rawness off. Because you know fish have that thing about it. So cold water, just to get rid of some of the blood, you know, and you're going to examine it while you're doing it. So if you can, if you see anything in the belly like this now, that little red, red, I want to get it out because that's like butter blood, you know, I don't know the right word for it, but that's what we call it in Jamaica, butter blood. All right, just want to rinse it off properly, right, then you're going to drain it. All right, so now, all right, when I'm using lime, I normally do this to free up the, the, the juice from start. I roll it, roll it, so it get a bit soft now, all right? So when you burn it, it's straight to the juice. All right. These limes don't carry seeds, so you don't have to strain for the seeds. Mister, when we go into this store today, and I've been looking at some other fish, because, you know, the closest I could get to home was, like, jackfish. 
you have Pompidou Jack, you have regular Jack, you have for well, next type of Jack, I don't remember the name now, but that's the closest I could get to home. My back, foot, excuse my language, when me look, big old bad barracuda, smiling with me, Lord Jesus. Don't get me wrong. Remember, Barracuda is expensive in Jamaica, so don't ask me the price. It was really pricey. It was like, I don't remember the exact weight, but it was like $80, $85 for the fish, the whole fish. It was like, it was big. You can't get, well, you know, you can't get that anywhere else. That's the first I was ever seen, seen a Barracuda here in the United States. Um, put on some water because I want to cook some dumpling and African yam, you know, and some I must steam a piece for mom, you know. Well, I'm not ready for my barracuda. I like to eat my barracuda Esco Beach, so I'm not gonna make none for myself today. It's just for her. Just one piece I must eat. I should have gotten some okra. I don't remember saying none of the year. Alright, so once again the lime now. Get rid of the rawness. So you don't want to be eating your food and it raw, right? Mm -hmm. We're not used to them something there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna wash it off now. Wash it off once more. And I try to go around the fish so you don't go in and then get jammed by a bone. But even while going around, be cautious. Alright. Yeah, yeah. It's a guan. Let me train him. Give me a second. Give me a second. Woo! That should be fine. It's not even raw anymore, but still, to be on the safer side, I'm gonna be using some vinegar also. As I said, just a little bit of vinegar, even a dash of vinegar, a little splash. Oh, look, all this open. This is coming in, I use to them different style or something, you know. There you are, they just poop and take off. Take off fast. Woo! That look like too much, though. But it's fine, not gonna kill it. Energize. Nice. All right, so now we're gonna rinse it off. Once more. And that's gonna be it for getting rid of the raw scent. You don't want to be serving no fish, no food at all, and it's raw. No meat, no, no, nothing should be served and smelling raw. That's a turn off. So you think say you ain't gonna cook for your girlfriend, and she feel good and you gonna give him raw food and it's not, you gonna turn her off like a switch. All right, so you can examine, place it down. This is a piece of the head, so this will go here. All right, so this is how big the fish is. Look, see? Look, that's a piece of the head. You thought it was a whole head when I showed you the first time? That's a piece of it. And this is just half. Right. Right. Big bad barracuda in the building. Yeah, yeah. And I come over there, so. Nice juicy meat. Yes, sir. This is Jamaica right here. Right there. Alright, so basically, I'm just going to season. 
and just put it back in the bag and set it. Oh, I didn't tell you, this fish is actually for Christmas dinner. So, you see how early I'm actually seasoning up the meat for Christmas. I already have some chicken seasoned, some pork, some turkey. I already seasoned up. But this one was a must have done a video for. <laughs> you understand? Because this ain't normal. Normally, you want to buck up on some of them fish. You have to go like Florida. And we ain't at Florida. We way out of Florida. Alright. Nice. Even the smallest piece of the fish will be. Hmm? Nice. Well, it's a flesh at the man. Jesus! Alright, so I'm gonna wash the pot out. Just a little bit. You know the fish went right back in. Alright, so we're gonna do it piece by piece. And you wanna like do it over this so you don't waste the seasoning. Let me dry my hands. Hold up. Up. Big piece of African yam there. Listen, it tastes alright, trust me. I don't love white yam, but this white yam, I love yellow yam. But that uh, that yam tastes real good. And I'm gonna be cooking a piece, do some dumpling, and then steam the piece of fish. See? All right, hands dry. Ready now, as I say, you're gonna take pinch, sprinkle, open the belly part, sprinkle because you want to evenly spread it, and then you're gonna do it over here so you don't waste none, right? So we go in there. Alright, so this is how it looks when you evenly do it. Open it up, you can see seasoning inside. You don't want more than that. So I'm going on now. Big bad barracuda. You don't know what you do to that YouTube. Watch out. When you come back, when you come back, when you come back, man, chop. All right, so we got everything ready now. And I really want much sugar in my fish because I'm going to be using my blended season today. So I'm, I'm just going to add a bit more flavor with some thyme or one scotch bonnet. Add color and also flavor. I really like red onion and a one carrot. You know what I mean? Also, I'm going to be using butter and for today I'll be using the Kendall coconut milk powder. Normally I use the grease but I didn't see any today so that's it. Alright, so first thing, you want to always wash your vegetables. Well, anything I tell you, you better wash it. Add it right here. You know what I mean? Alright, so for this time, you're not going to do much to it. Wash it, put it in the pots. Oh, I didn't show you. I like fry, fried barracuda, but I couldn't resist, so I put two extra pieces for myself. All right, so I just put the thyme there for flavor. Scotch bonnet, same thing, that's so I'll cut it in half. Right there, everything, the seed gives you the heat, so. I will want the heat in the pot because without the heat, it now go hot. And what we want? The food be hot. All right, so I'm going to scrape off my carrots. Don't start looking at me now, man. Jesus, what is the matter with y'all? All right, I'm going to put this in the danjo. I'm going to have it too. I'm going to do the ice cream game on it. Alright, alright, get up nice and 
skin more jelly on it now jelly on is when you could cut the onion in half and then you see these lines that run along you're going to follow them lines they're going to come off in some long pieces I'm going to show you jelly on. season that we made earlier on around the fish that's going to add to the gravy because you know the fish just season up a little bit of seasoning going to taste in it now but a couple of days from now it's going to soak to the bone right that should be fine that's it for seasoning all right so this right here is my flour and cornmeal mix with a itsy bits of salt already put on my water Add salt already. So I just want to get finished with the fish. Put it on and then start with the yam and the dumpling. Put like two to three spoons of this butter because it really don't have that much flavor. your coconut milk out. I add like half of this. I love coconut milk. Coconut milk give you Jamaican flavor. I use warm water to mix it so I'm just using the, the top. Put it at hot. As soon as it's hot. Put a little and mix it out. So I didn't add any liquid in this as yet, but I should add a tip of oil, just a tip. That helps with forming the gravy. Then now the liquid is going to come from this that I'm making. Coconut milk. Add it over it. Now that's where you're going to leave your liquid from. Add a bit more water. Clean the cup. You don't want to waste your good old coconut milk. Wash my spoon up. Right, right. So now, I don't want enough to watch out me something done and I'm done, but I'm going to be making some later on. So this right here is my marination. I'm going to put like three spoons of it. 
about four, four, I'm going to put four. Because I'm actually at the bottom of it now. This now adds a lot of flavor. It boosts the flavor of your meal. Whatever you're making, it boosts the flavor. So, hold up. This is how it looks. All right, that's with the coconut milk and everything. I'm gonna put it on, turn the stove up, and let it start boiling. Soon as I give it about, cause fish don't take long to steam. Worse if it's not like a hot, tough fish, cause you have some fish that's old, them old fish in the water all long, they get really tough. So you normally know, steam them a bit longer, but this one's really nice. About five minutes on the side, turn it, another five, then give it five more. So it's going to take about 15 minutes, and that's it. Steam fish already. Dumpling in a plate. Put up my marination. Now to now watch out my marination. Right, I boss, you know, because, listen, marination boosts the flavor of anything you put it in. Anything you're cooking, and use marination. That's it. Everybody gonna be asking you, oh, what you put in it? Regular seasoning. But with my marination, I mix with fruits and vegetable because chronic said this already. Not afraid to mix the vegetable with the fruit. Trust me, I learned from that song. All right, so I'm gonna need some water. Not gonna use no hot water now. You need a regular cold water. You make your dumpling after not get nasty of pans you're going to use water spoon to make your dumpling right so you add a little move it around see how it looks add some more just in case you just maintain good all right it's the round still want some more add some more you take a little time and farm your dough you want everything to come together, all right? A little bit more. So we are going at now, you know. So you just add to your soup as soon as you see the dough farming and all the hanging around flour is all in the dough. You know you dough good. It's not sticky. You don't want it to be sticky to be sticking up your hands. When you're making fried dumplings, right, the morning dumpling there, you make it a bit sticky, and then you flour your hands and then roll it. So that way you get a soft inside and a golden outside. Can't you add your bigger vessel? And you tell me that one there. <laughs> Listen, cooking in this family is like. Well, cooking overall for me is a family thing because my family background, they, they can cook. They can cook you a wicked egg food. It's just nice. Nice, really good. Mom can cook, dad can cook, grandmother can cook, everybody. You name it, they can cook, even the children. Lucky, the guy next big chef. <laughs> yeah. I have a little cousin named Lucky, I'm staying with grandma. Listen, that boy gets up and make grandma breakfast and chocolatey. If you know what I mean. Big chef, that man. You got yourself Lucky Dan. Make sure you have behave yourself, you know, man. Alright, so I'm going to be making my dumplings now. Kind of feel sticky. Just a little bit sticky. So I'm going to add a little bit of flour so I can use it on my hands. A bit. My phone going off like crazy, babe. Babe! Just a little bit. Just a little bit longer, baby. Hey. Gotta got love in your food. Your food gotta have a soul for it to be soul food. Jamaican food is either you got to your soul or you got to your back. Remember that. Man, they want you to do that. to your back. Why, <laughs> All right, so get a motion like this. 
the knee of your flower, then you use your palm like here, right here. Get it all dumpling looking. I can't smell the fish already, you know. Smell good. Wanna smell it? Wanna smell the fish? Tell me if you wanna smell it. Smell good, dog. Right here. Some nice little dumpling are going up pot. Yeah, yeah. Some green bananas, some yellow yam. Listen, Sunday morning dinner, that you know, it's something nice. All right, so the next thing I like eating steam fish with is the man goes say smash Irish, or they about it, say crush Irish, crush Irish with butter. Nice, that just dropping on my belly like boom. What else do I like eating? I like to eat kidney with banana, but me not just eat my banana regular like regular people. Me eat it like a picnic, that's what everybody say. We crush my banana and eat it. Nicely done. Dumpling in a pot. Wash off my hands. Gotta keep your hands clean. Go to the yam now. But first, I'm gonna kind of move the dumplings from where they drop, so they don't just stay one place. I want them moving in the pot. African yam. I'm there, Jamaica. I know about nigger yam, but I guess you learn every day, right? Nice African yam in the building. I'll show you a look. Have a look a purple thing to it, you see? Nice little purple thing, but it's white yam. You ready? I got it. So that's it for prepping. Just waiting for it to be ready now. Give me like 10 more minutes and I'll be back. All right, peeps. See it there? Steam barracuda. Dumpling and African yam. I'm telling you something, I really like the African yam, so as you can see, that's one. But I already cut up the dumpling like a picnic food, but I eat that. Ready to dig in. Nice. Look at the texture. Nice white meat. See? Alright guys, thank you for tuning in once more. I'm out for the day. But enjoy my barracuda. See? Steam barracuda in coconut milk. Some dumpling. And the African yam. I don't really like the African yam, but it eats good. So it's not like something wrong with it. I just don't like it. You know you have likes and dislikes. It's not one of mine. I like yellow yam. So until then. Fat my face. Nice. Out. Hold on, man. Forget. Like, share, comment, subscribe for more wonderful dishes, and soon to come, we're gonna have some 
fun videos for y'all. So just give it a little time, as you can see. We're now in Australia, but we got time.